Synergy 696. It's at 1400. Because I was flying my glider plane. Holy shit. It was crazy. It doesn't seem windy at all. And it's, it was freaking nuts. So put that away for... Uh, I mean, trying to land a 54-inch glider in this area here sucks. With these trees. The wind, I just couldn't get it down. I had the, uh, what is it, crow breaking or whatever. Still no go. I had to like come in at a freaking 90 degree angle, drop it in and then pull up elevator hard. Worked for the most part, but. This thing's like on rails. It's lovely. It's lovely. We'll fly the logo after this. Actually, we'll fly the 3D foamy. I love that thing. It can handle wind, that one, but the wider. Lighter can't. Not a foamy powered glider anyway. It can handle, it just sucked. It just sucked. Snow's falling under my feet. I can't get Piro flips on this thing, right? Can do them on the logo. I haven't gotten them on this. This one's a little more, feels more agile, playful, a little sloppier than the logo, so. Wanna mess with some settings. Hey, you hear that tail? That can only be wind. Gain's too high for the amount of wind going across it, which essentially increases your mechanical gain. I'm not gonna adjust it. I think I have the optimizer on. I wonder on the Mikado here, the uh, low the beaver. I don't know if it catches that kind of thing. I like the tail performance, so I'm not gonna mess with it. Just because it shudders a little. I'd rather have it on the tip of just too much than uh, weak, especially if you wanna make a left hand or right hand turn here. Is it this way? Yeah, if your tail's weak, it'll low RPM. You'll, you'll blow that turn out and we'll make it at speed. I'm not gonna do one right now. I'm not that comfortable screwing around. Coming off the plane and then this is a different world. This is so much more agile and controllable. Planes are like, I, 
they're easier to learn. I wouldn't say they're easier to fly. It's because this is a 3D foaming or a good 3D plane. The 3D plane, man, you could fly like it is on rails, but like a normal foamy glider style, not balsa. They sell them as trainers a lot of times, and I think it's just an absolute mistake. They are not easy to fly compared to like a good 3D plane. You could take a good foamy 3D plane like the Twisted Hobby series, any of them. Reduce your rates and throws and stuff. And uh, so easy to fly. Uh, people would be better off starting with those than like say the Bixler or the Easy Star. They say, oh, the Easy Star is so easy to fly. No, it's not. It's susceptible to wind, turbulence. It, you get in trouble and it doesn't have a lot of authority in any, any control direction like the aileron or elevator uh, rudder. It's not that strong. It'll tip a wing in a second. It's got plenty of power the way I have mine set up. It'll climb vertical. It's about the only thing that gets you out of trouble when you say wing stall. Surprised how much I can see that green. Uh... Green blades. Yeah, I don't know this plane's easier to fly. Um, foamy 3D is than a helicopter. They're just forgiving. But I'd fly this any day over a foamy sailplane, trainer plane. I'm not saying it was easy to begin. When you're a beginner, it's not. Helicopters, you can't even hover the damn thing when you're starting out. It seems impossible. It seems impossible just to do like forward flight without feeling completely out of control. But then you, you get the basics down. God, it is turbulent up there. I'm climbing and I've got negative fucking collective on it. Just going in the um, left hand direction, see left hand direction there, man, it climbs. Good skilled pilot would counteract that. With even just enough negative collective to keep it at a level bearing, but I'm not good enough be able to do this without blowing it out and I can't. So I'll go negative a little bit, positive, see that I went forward too much. Hey Hawks. All these are neat though, you can you freak out, you can just hover. Uh, airplane um, foamy trainer. You can't, you're always going forward. You know, that easy start, that thing moves. That's another thing about um, about the uh, Twisted Hobbies, the 3D plane. You can sit there and hover the damn thing. Motor idle. Coming to auto down. That hit that window, went forward into it. That was a little too hard, but motor off. Still learning autos. I like to go to a field where I can do sliding autos and actually fly with the auto without the interruption of the trees. But it is what it is. Let's go fly the logo. But we do have a battery charging for the, the uh, Twisted Hobbies Veloxy. The thing is just so easy and fun to fly. Simple construction. Flies really nice. Decent parts cost, not horrible, not great. I think the logo's a little cheaper. But well, these are all carbon and such aluminum. So it is what it is. 
but I'll take either one. Disconnected, you fucking idiot. It's a weird thing about the kind of transmitter the dial only has one button and it kind of annoys you. Certain things. Alright, that's the velocity we're gonna fly. <laughs> 